In our previous episodes, we talked about traditional impact metrics based on citation counts. In this episode, we want to introduce you to alternative metrics. Generally shortened to altmetrics, these give researchers insights into how people engage with their work. They can be particularly beneficial for arts and humanities scholars that are poorly served by traditional measures of citation impact. More and more researchers are beginning to use altmetrics to demonstrate their impact beyond citations. Altmetrics have several advantages. They're fast. Unlike citations, altmetrics can be instantly available. They're diverse, gathered from multiple sources, such as Twitter, Mendeley, and Facebook. They cover multiple formats, such as datasets, computer code, music, images, web pages, and more. Two major altmetrics providers are Plumex and altmetric.com. Let's check out Scopus to see how Plumex presents altmetrics there. We'll use one of Professor Christy Jung's journal articles as an example. If we click on View All Metrics, we'll see that this article has a total of 677 citations and an impressive FWCI of 22.31. Down here is a summary of all Plumex metrics. The colorful plum print represents five categories of metrics, and the size of each varies depending on that category's value. Citations gives you the traditional impact measures. Usage shows you the number of views or downloads. Captures is a leading indicator of future citations because it records users who have saved the work in a reference manager. Mentions are references made to the work in online news, media, blogs, or Wikipedia. Lastly, social media shows the number of shares and likes on various platforms. Metrics in altmetric.com are presented in the form of a donut, with each color indicating a different source of attention. Whatarealtmetrics.com has a helpful page on how you can use altmetrics in a CV, for grant applications, or for promotion and tenure documentation. Be aware that altmetrics are still in their infancy. Just like traditional metrics, they have limitations and can also be easily manipulated. That's it for now. Watch our other 2-Minute Metrics episodes to find out more.